New York Fashion Week just finished up, I think. Is it the last show the other day? Or yesterday? I think, yeah, New York Fashion Week just finished, I think. The last shows were today. I saw Tom Brown. I saw, what else? Oh, what else is the mark that is going to finish? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyway, a um, couple of really good shows I wanted to point out from New York Fashion Week that I was very, very impressed by. Number one show being Mariam Nazia Zadi. Is that even it? Or Mariam Nazia Zade Or Zada Zada Zadi. Mariam. Yeah, Mariam Nazia Zadi. Or Zade or Zada. I don't even pronounce her surname. But if you do know, then please tell me in the comments down below. Really amazing um, collection. Um, she's only started recently doing menswear as of a couple of seasons I've been told from the articles I've read about it um, online um, we can quickly glance over the Vogue, um, Vogue review on here on Runway and I'll go through some of the bits that I liked and why this kind of spoke to me it says here via um, Vogue Runway this is a review by Emily Farah it says Lower East Side has glowed up of late elevated by buzzing new restaurants and the block party vibes of two pandemic summers while other neighborhoods emptied out the LES just felt busier Mariam Nazir Zadi um, or MN MNZ was an early adopter her Norfolk Street store opened in 2018 or sorry 2008 on a still lesser than traveled corner of Rivington we were in the newly opened we were at the newly reopened store for today's um, Zeddy show the first since 2019 surprisingly it also marked her first show in the space she described as a homecoming and a quote it was really important for me to have the show at the store to celebrate what is still alive and to celebrate the community that has supported since since the beginning the spirit of um, was felt in both the audience and the impactful cast, including MNZ regulars like Susan Cianciello, uh, Paloma Elsa, Lily Sumner, and Zadie's husband, Uday Kak, and Andre Walker. It's worth mentioning that this was Zadie's most diverse cast to date, with a rare instance of both male and female and male curve models. Zadie's impulse was to go to her roots via the setting was a mirrored close to um, her early collections were quite minimal and through the years it's experimental with bolder colors prints and silhouettes that doesn't add up to our standard definition of minimalism the way she puts it is playful but restrained right so i'll leave it there and then we go to actual clips of the sorry the pictures of the actual collection itself which is the most important thing um we can skip the first look um, not got much to say about that one not really something that I can necessarily v -v -v vibe with but if we just skip through we'll just see a couple that I kind of stood out obviously menswear men being the, the main part of the reason why I went to check out this show but the other thing why I thought it was really awesome too was the kind of cool vibe of it of the clothes the kind of um oddly i guess um intellectual but also not taking itself too seriously right the idea that you could wear these clothes and you know it's, it's this kind of thing that you would imagine when you're into fashion and you want to go back to your parents and maybe go you know for a family dinner or something but you also don't want to stick out like a sore thumb and remind people that you go to a fashion school or you're in a creative or you work in the creative industry this is the kind of collection that you'd wear that would be somewhat understated but also you know has the necessary details and attention that would make you stick out from the crowd which is what i'm a big fan of but it also oddly enough with the shapes especially the pants and the cut of some stuff it reminded me oddly of adam kimmel it kind of had that similar sort of vibe about it right laid back um you know relaxed without being too uh frumpy sort of wear and and without being and without kind of going into that sort of our legacy territory where it kind of just looks a little bit too haphazardy in order to make it look good. I mean, the act, these clothes actually look nice. Like this is an actual sensual, somewhat sexy outfit that you could wear, but you could also kind of pair down maybe with some cycling shorts. Do you know what I mean there's there are some layers to it that are actually like a lot. This is look five, and then I think there's some favorite looks here in terms of pants that I want to show you. Yeah, like of course, this pant here, yeah, this kind of outfit looks really nice. It's got his oversized t-shirt with the elongated sleeves. We've got these great pants here. you got, of course, the legendary Carl Moore in terms of a male model who I haven't seen about in a while. But he seems to pop up, I think, mainly in New York. Well, I guess maybe because he lives there. Maybe he just, just doesn't refuse to travel in terms of runway show. I'm not really too sure, but he's been around for a while. I'm actually shocked he's actually still alive. I always assumed he was, um, you know, one of those guys, but... Um, well done that he's still um, hanging around and again this is probably a look that probably encapsulates what um, MNZ does can entirely right the cut of the shirt the fabric on it the print it's, it's definitely a fabric it's not a print that amazing necklace and you know 
um, no, under, undershirt, the great sandals, the cut of the trousers, they're pleated, all right? They look pleated. It's all like a gray stripy trouser, oversized. It just looks absolutely gorgeous, right? Easy, easy wear. Like you just want to wear that stuff instantly. And it looks of really, really good quality too. We continue onwards a little bit. Another great outfit too. Nice relaxed fit, great use of color. The colors are awesome, to be honest. Even this top here, how that kind of goes together, right? You've got this great, almost minty blue kind of color, translucent over a bra top. It's like, it just looks amazing. Very, 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 very well done. Again, one of my favorites here, this men's look, men's look number 13. You've got this kind of dip tie dyed shirt um going into blue into black with this amazing chunky pearl kind of necklace going on here or marble or what do you call it whatever they call those little stones that you get on the beach great again a great cut of pants with some classic derby shoes a bit more of a um easier fit to wear maybe than the other with the sandal again amazing dress continue on a bit more this is one of my favorite outfits of course a little bit more of a youthful outfit. You probably have to make sure the dad bods and check. But look at the cut on those trousers. How they kind of balloon out slightly around here. They kind of tuck in a little bit at the knee and then flare out again without being too drastic. And then tuck back in under. I don't know how. This is, again, mostly a tailoring thing. I'm sure it's a very insanely... I'm sure it's incredibly difficult to do. Where you kind of make the, the trousers feel quite roomy and balloon out. But also don't make it drag behind your heel. It must be a very clever tailoring thing. And again, the use of the belt here with the beads. You've got this kind of, it does look like a suede shirt or something. That might not be the best option to wear topless, but you know, you got to style these things right on the runway. We continue again. And I think we've got one more look, which actually, yeah, we've got this look, which looks pretty decent. Again, the casting is awesome in this show. Um, again, you don't have to always be like plus size and just for the sake of it. But in terms of just kind of illustrating or giving an idea on what the vibes of the brand is all about and kind of who they represent and what they're about, this cast of models does it better than anything else that you could see than kind of, you know, thrusting just bigger guys on the platform just because for the sake of it, this just feels a little bit more congruent. And I think one of my other favorite outfits is actually the outfit that the designer's husband is wearing. It's like an all white outfit that's absolutely sublime. I think definitely was a standout. There's a one, yeah. This is um, uh, allegedly the designer's husband. It just looks fantastic. Of course, I think that's why people are smiling and being happy in the background. But this is just such a great outfit. I'd wear the hell out of this, right? You've got an all white. Um, it looks like an Oxford type shirt. I'm not too sure if it is. Don't see the buttons on the collar. But still, a nice all white shirt with a massive pocket on the chest. Great pants with, with kind of pockets on the side. Like, they kind of look like carpenter pants a little bit. But the shape is a little bit more slimmer than a carpenter pants not as baggy and then some black loafers some black normal capsule derby shoes like you really can't go wrong with that and then again on the inside instead of having it the necklace around the necklace she's kind of got it wrapped on the side or diagonally i'm not sure if that's a bag that goes underneath well regardless it looks absolutely brilliant it really does i'm not too sure if he's holding onto the loop there because the fit of the trousers is just a little bit too big for him around the waist or if this is just a styling tip to kind of give people an idea that the trousers aren't just your regular chinos they're a bit you know a little bit more to him than that but regardless that look what look is it number look number 24 is 25 sorry it's absolutely brilliant one of my favorites out there definitely so one of definitely the standout collections i saw at new york fashion week and then i think the other one um was philo 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 who i've only kind of learned about um recently via the timeline courtesy of um a guy called um what's his name abg i forgot how he what was his baby he's a baby or something on social media that i follow on twitter all the time um i think he consults with them and he's always kind of talking about Fiofalo all the time. Um, he's got loads of pieces that, of course, he's got done or he's got, he's got made kind of custom in his wardrobe that he's always kind of showing and, you know, and flexing on people. And we finally got to see why he's so hype on this brand because pff, this might have been one of the standouts. Like apart from M MNZ, this definitely was one of the favorite collections I saw and definitely a collection that gave me an idea of what I wanted to wear if I, when I finally, um, I'm able to dance and panorama bar once again because you know that's the more um, housey, more relaxed, sort of expressive um, dance floor or part of Bergheim where you can kind of go and show out with a bit more color, get a little bit more groovy because usually people playing up there are usually more 
house disco orientated and it's definitely a place you can show out a little bit more than wearing the standard kind of you know techno black uniform and this collection definitely gave me loads of ideas and outfits that i would ever i would definitely wear head to toe like this look number two you got this amazing amazing neon and i'm not even sure it's neon it's a little bit more washed out than a neon um top shirt that kind of is a super elongated that goes right down past the waist just above the knee past the sleeves it's really slim on the on the waist it kind of tucks in a little bit then kind of bulbs out elongated cuffs i mean collar sorry an amazing scarf and this great little hat feature at the top there like just superb the square toe shoes um similar to something that you'd see from like a martin rose or something but just amazing right head to toe in terms of outfits that you definitely wear going out and then we continue this i'm not really too keen on that one i think there was a couple more that i wanted to show you that i was really keen on uh supposedly i've heard from the review this is kind of an ode to the designer's jamaican heritage um so maybe it's a celebration of the people and sights and sounds that he saw when he was growing up young um getting into clothes seeing different inspirations that kind of passed around him and stuff and kind of using that and filtering it through his fashion eye and providing kind of modern take on it so i'm not mad at it at all this is definitely a good one this is definitely rude boy you know head to toe you got this amazing sort of bucket hat with this jean denim kind of what would you call it like a coach jacket it looks like it's his interpretation of a of a coach jacket the jeans look a little bit high-waisted they kind of end just above the knee with these amazing boots i just oh just absolutely sublime from head to toe great body con dress here like superb and then i think there was one more that i loved that i would wear out instantly the girl stuff is absolutely incredible as you can see some of the dresses are superb this obviously is a great outfit but there's one coming up where is it come on yeah there's one with the jamaican that this one this would be an outfit i'd wear head to toe going to panorama bar like pff, jamaican pride all day look at that it's great i'm not even sure if you call it a bucket hat it doesn't feel like one it looks like it's leather paneled hat i'm um, sort of like a tulip and then you've got this amazing shirt. I don't know what fabric that is, whether it's silk or whatnot, but it's so cool how it's cut as well. It sort of feels like a little suit of armor, a little, a little vest of armor, sorry. The way it's cut into the body looks really great. And then you've got these great trousers, which I think our trousers did. Obviously, they look like they have like a kind of leggingy type sheen on them, but I'm pretty sure they're just regular pants that are cut really well with the print on them. And the print is really nice as well. It's not just a block colors. It's got these little swirls on it. Maybe it's a tree bark. I'm not really too sure. And again, these great loafers, these great sort of patterned loafers are so, so, so nice. And the thing that I actually liked about it the most is that the real lack of accessories, small touches, couple of rings there, not, not much on the neck, not much on the ears, just really easy light touches when it comes into the styling. It just makes it all look so effortless. But if you're full of spring 2022, definitely gave me some great ideas again this would go down so well in Bergheim you know what I mean might be sending the wrong messages out there but this would definitely go down well in terms of a showstopper like, look at it head to toe and again the casting definitely helps because you know this guy is immensely cool so he definitely is going to make anything that he rocks look amazing but Jesus Christ it all looks so so wearable so good like even that kind of look at that that same print on the dress look how good that looks you give that to one of the Jamaican 100 meter sprinters just after they finish the race and they are going to be stopping traffic walking down the street in that, do you know what I mean? Absolutely insane. Yeah, so really, really fantastic collection. Two standouts for me, MNZ and Fiofalo. Definitely check that out if you're that way inclined.